Today we're going to show uh, about the installation of the uh, Suburban Lube Minder. It's an automatic oiling system that can put virtually on any type piece of equipment that has chain and sprockets and has a hydraulic source for a signal. So on this particular machine right here, this is a round baler, we're going to try to find the best place to uh, put the tank, the reservoir tank that we're going to hold the oil and mount the oiler pump. So kind of determine that the oiler pump, if it sits right here, and if we put the tank and mount it right here, that would be the most convenient uh, for being able to fill that tank. So we're gonna go ahead and try to uh, mount this oiler tank. Depending on different manufacturers where this is a factory installed option, sometimes the holes are already pre-drilled or pre-punched where uh, you don't need to drill any holes. All right, so the tank is mounted there. Now we've determined the pump is gonna probably mount right in here for the easiest way to mount this pump right here. And we're gonna run a piece of tubing from the tank down to the pump once we get it installed. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna mark where our holes need to be. And we're gonna drill some holes here for a um, self-tapping screws. So these screws are self-tapping and self-locking. So once they get snug, they don't have to be super tight. They just need to be snug and they will not back out. That bracket's nice and solid. I'm gonna leave the pump loose for right now, but I'm gonna position it. Where if you see there's this opening right here, there's a hydraulic hose that's gonna come into here. And that's gonna route back to a cylinder on this machine that'll actuate the pump when the machine is in cycle. So I'm not going to totally uh, tighten the, uh, the pump. I'm just gonna leave this kind of snug so we can position it in the right orientation. Okay, so basically we have the pump mounted, we have the reservoir tank, and we have the tube connecting it mounted.